See, whatever is spontaneous is good. What I am against is the artificial Kundalini activations, which if the teacher is not proficient and able to control its movement, it is not going to help the person. That is why I told the videos where people jerk and shiver and they like epilepsy. That's not the right way the Kundalini action activation should happen. Uh, my understanding of Kundalini action activation is a huge state of uh, explosive bliss. Ex nothing but joy. Joy without a reason. Joy without any reason. That is a that's a state which is inexplainable. And that state will happen. It can happen. But uh, uh, I, when you jump start it, it's not going to happen. That's why in the Kriya I always tell, do not have any intention when you're doing Kriya. Just perform Kriya and whatever has to come to you will happen to you. This is natural. Understand, organic growth is the best growth. Organic growth is the best growth. Our mind may speed up. Well, come on, this thing is happening. I told you yesterday, it's like a pyramid. The first level is experience level. You feel bliss. Oh, I, I started this practice. I'm feeling great. Then is the state of stagnation. That state is very difficult to cross. Many people fall at that state. Well, I'm practicing this, but nothing is happening. I Earlier I had bliss, now I have nothing. This is actually a wrong understanding. That is a state where the same activity will not give a different result. And you got saturated with the same experience. But you have to keep on doing it and cross over. Then you reach a vacuum state where you have uh, you, all sorts of fear starts coming out. The activity which has taken you to the state of vacuum is not giving you uh, any solution as yet. If you still uh, go consistently in that, then comes the bliss state. Then you, it's like graduation. You will not come down. But what happens with most of the seekers is, especially those who are operating from the mind, uh, they do not cross over the experience state itself. No, not the experience, the uh, stagnation state itself. At the stagnation state, they change the track. So many I've seen, even in Himalayas. <coughs> oh, they say, I've been doing this exercise for the last one year. Nothing is happening, I'm going, they drop. They, don't, they are not consistent. Then they don't even reach the vacuum. Some people reach the vacuum state and then they become disillusioned. They say, oh, nothing is happening. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even feeling myself. <coughs> sort of things like that. Then they will drop off. But some people still continue. They trust the master, they trust the practice, they trust the path, then they go on and they this is exactly uh, something which every seeker should remember. Instead, they will go to somewhere, there are advertisements, instant Kundalini awakening. If instant Kundalini awakening is possible, and then all the world will be enlightened now. You know, why do you have to do these practices, deep penance in Himalayas and stuff like that? Money <laughs> doesn't mean if you're eligible. Yes. You wouldn't need to do Kriya. Yes, you, you can. But, um, Eligibility is basically your conviction. See, you should decide, I want to reach through this path to the complete dissolution. But if there are other interests, such as some powers or some other things, then that's not the path. See, the path of Shiva is path of dissolution. Either remain unconscious or fully conscious. This is exactly the whole point, right? So, uh, you can definitely opt for Kriya, provided you're, you have decided that this is what I want to achieve in this life. Or, even in minimal way, I will not take another life on earth. You can take life in any other location. But if you choose not to come back here, then you can take a helicopter or a, or a, or a rocket directly to the heavens. But otherwise, uh, people do not know. Many people are just looking at it as another feather in the cap. I, I've experienced that, so many people. And so I don't talk to them either. Because there's no point in discussing anything with them. They have just uh, dish out some knowledge and they, they'll just go away. So there's no point, because they, they're not serious, first of all. So I said, how did you achieve this? I said, I never achieved anything. 
I always say, what do you think I have achieved? I said, aren't you enlightened? I said, Use, do I look like enlightened? So I confuse them and then they go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way. Because you can't, you can't actually explain anything to them. You know, there's nothing to explain. Set minds, set ideas, easy to sell concepts. It's not easy to sell liberation. It's very easy to sell concepts. But liberation is a tough walk. It's not exactly tough. It's all about your determination. You have to discount what is not yours. You know, we are, we are all talking about me, these are mine, even our thought process, our mind, our concepts, our education, our knowledge. We consider all these as mine, ours. This is exactly what we need to draw. And, so, and then you reach a stage where you are totally empty and free. Then liberation is spontaneous. It happens to you spontaneously. Without Come. fear. Sorry? Without fear. No, Kriya is a tool to, it's like a, uh, see, I had to come from uh, Washington to here. I had to take a flight, right? Yeah, without the flight, I could not have reached here. Right? It's similar. You see? Uh, Kriya is a technique. It's a technique. It's a combination of breath as well as uh, imagination or, or uh, uh, visualization. Right? These are combined in such a way so that you, you have a, a pattern or a track with which you can cut across karma. Again, karma's natural um, uh, natural exhaustion is fulfillment. If you have a karma, that means you have desire. Desire which could not be fulfilled became karma. And that karma needs fulfillment. That's a natural way of handling karma. But what happens is, when your awareness gets elevated beyond the desire for a fulfillment, then those things drop off. What drops off goes away from you. What you suppress remains and becomes powerful. This is something which we must be very, very clear in spiritual path. We say, oh, somebody said, or Mohanji said, you should not do this. So we suppress a desire for something. I said, right, because if you keep on indulging in drugs, you will not all be only, all, you will always be in a hallucinatory mode. So I said, drugs are not good for you if you want to elevate your awareness. I, I said right. But then what happens with this person is that he suppressed the, the thing for some time. Then with a re renewed renewed energy, it comes back to him. And then the next thing he does is he leaves Mohanji, not the drugs. This is what happens in many people. The uh, the suppression is always uh, always not a solution. But what, what drops off from your system, whether it is a person, a place, uh, an experience, a material, time, anything that drops off goes away. You don't need them anymore. Like uh, we were very attached to certain things in our childhood. When you look at those things today, what do you feel? Okay, it is nice to see that you can have some memories of the childhood. But, but it's not so important for you right now. Those days, it was very important, right? So this is how uh, life works. So the Kriya accents this process. When you are on the path of Kriya, it accents this process. It stabilizes you. That's why it's important. See, one thing I'll tell you, nothing is less important or more important in life. Everything has its value. What you are today is what you are. And there is a past for that. Something brought you here to this level of awareness today. And this level of awareness today will take you to another level of awareness tomorrow. Maybe you will be holding my hand. Maybe you will be walking alone. We do not know and we do not need to know. You know, as free as that. This is the path of liberation. We never, we should never bind ourselves or anybody else to anything. But people may not understand that. People are all collection oriented. I have collected so many things. I have collected so many people. I have collected so many concepts. These are all burdens. Even a title is a burden. You see why I sign off as M, just one alphabet? You know, that itself is big. That itself is a burden. You know, official papers, I write so many different things because they need it. Otherwise, you're just an alphabet, that's enough. If people identify you for what you are, that's okay. But uh, the world recognizes you on what you've given to the world, not what you've taken from the world. People do not know that. World will recognize you provided you give a lot to the world.
if your life means a lot of things to a lot of people in the world or beings in the world, then you are you are carved something on earth before you left. Your incarnation was worthwhile. Most people don't do that. They only take, take, and take. Even if you sit down and meditate, you are taking the space. That is why I always say, enlightenment is not for you, it's for the others. If you are enlightened, let it show, so that others will be benefited. You can sit and meditate anywhere you like. So what? You know what I mean? 